Now in this question then, we're given the summary statistics SXX, SYY and SXY. And in the first part, we're asked to work out the product moment correlation coefficient, which we should know is given by the standard letter R, and it always equals SXY all divided by the square root of SXX, SYY. And we also should know that this value lies between minus 1 and 1. And it can include these values. So that's a valuable check. When you work this out, just make sure you get a value between minus 1 and 1. Otherwise, it's obviously going to be wrong. OK, well, let's just substitute these values in. Very easy, just simply 8825, then divided by the square root of 1022500 multiplied by 130.9. And if you work this out on your calculator, you get 0.72, sorry, 76280 and so on. Which when rounded, say, to three signal figures, is going to be 0 0.763 to 3SF. OK, well, that's the first part. Now, in part B, we've got to describe what this product moment correlation suggests. Well, remember that a product moment correlation coefficient tells us how strong the data is to a linear fit, a straight line. So we're told that we've got a scatter diagram and our data is clearly close to 1. If it were 1, the, the data would be on a perfect line. But being 0.763, there's going to be some kind of scattering about a line. Now, remember that x represents the attendance. Let's just mark that in. And y was the number of goals. Just put that up there, number of goals. So what this does seem to suggest, and we have to answer the question in the context, okay? We can't just say, oh, close to a straight line. What we need to say is something along the lines that as the attendance increases, the number of goals scored goes up, okay? So as the attendance increases, so do the goals. And that should be sufficient, OK? But don't, as I say, just say that that's close to a straight line. Now we've got one more part, part C. Let's just put it in here. What happens now is that we've got to show what happens to the product moment correlation coefficient if we divide all the x values by 100. Well, dividing all the x values by 100 just means that this scale, the x scale, gets just bunched up. So what would happen is our dots would still basically show that relationship to a straight line. It has no effect on the product moment correlation coefficient. It just adjusts the scale. But we get exactly the same answer as this. So the answer is no effect, OK? No effect. Essentially, R remains at 0 0.763. And there's your answer to part C, right?